Now we will be learning about airway management. Until an advanced airway is available, the rescue team should use mouth-to-mouth, mouth-to-mask, or bag-mask ventilation. Advanced airways include supraglottic airway, laryngeal mask airway, and endotracheal tube. These provide maximum oxygen and a more stable method of delivering breaths. When there's an advanced airway in place, the compression to breath ratio must be adjusted. We learned the compression to breath ratio for both adults and children in earlier chapters. Now we see that when an advanced airway is in place, both children and adults must receive one breath every six to eight seconds without pauses and compressions. Now we will go into mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing. Often, a pocket mask or bag mask is not available at the scene of an accident. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing is effective in delivering oxygen into the victim's lungs. The process of mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation is the same for adults and older children. First open the airway with the usual head tilt chin lift. Pinch the nose shut to prevent air from escaping when delivering the breaths. Make sure to create a seal with your lips around the victim's mouth. Blow into the victim's mouth and watch the chest. If it doesn't rise, you may need to retilt the head or unblock the airway. Give an additional breath. Make sure that these breaths are the duration of a full second. If the chest doesn't rise in two breaths, continue giving chest compressions. There are two different approaches to mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation for infants. The first is being able to cover both the infant's mouth and nose with your mouth. First open the airway with the usual head tilt chin lift. Now create a seal with your mouth covering both the mouth and the nose of the infant. Deliver the breath and watch the chest rise. Readjust if necessary. Then deliver a second breath. The next approach is only if you are unable to cover the infant's mouth and nose with your mouth. First open the airway. Next, assuming you are unable to cover the infant's mouth and nose with your mouth, pinch the nose shut. Create a seal using your lips around the infant's mouth. Deliver the breath and watch the chest rise. As always, readjust the airway if necessary. Then deliver your second breath. One important thing to remember with all ages is that cardiac arrest is often preceded by respiratory distress and arrest. It's vital to know this so that you can save the victim by preventing a potential cardiac arrest. If any victim has a pulse but is not breathing, immediately open the airway using head tilt chin lift and begin rescue breathing. Adults should receive a breath every 5 to 6 seconds, while children should every 3 to 5 seconds. Begin CPR if the pulse is slowed or stopped. Please take the time to read this table in your manual. That's all for airway management. Next we will discuss our last topic, relief of choking.